the crab beast. So after we warm up, the first exercise that we're going to go into is the right leg goes forward. I go into a high lunge. I hop out to a forward lunge, come back to a high lunge, back up. So we repeat here, 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 here. All right. I highly recommend if you need it, guys, grab a chair. Let me move this down. Grab a chair. Put it on the side so your hand can go right there and you can use it as support to push up. So we'll do 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left, and then we'll go into a crab beast, which is going to be here, right? I tap my butt down, I kick straight out, I try to get my hips up as high as possible. Drop, kick, kick, okay? 30 seconds, and we repeat that sequence. Lunge right, lunge left, crab beast. 30, 30, 30, three times. That's it, all right? So let's start with the warm up. Get my stuff out of the way. All right, little tiny kicks. Little tiny kicks with the knee up. Lift. Perfect. Little gate openers open through the hips. Happy Monday. Oh. Reverse that rotation and bring it from the back side to the front side. In. Boy, Brian, is that the Zoom shirt? I can't see that far. I think it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then little hamstring kicks. Just lift it up, flex that foot, flex and kick. So try not to feel any strain in the hamstrings, just a gentle little stretch. Good, two more each side. And then just kind of cross it over the body and to the side. Open up, lose your balance, just tap down. Three, two, and one. Switch to the other side. Cross it over, swing it open. Last one, perfect. Take a wide stance. Go into your arm circles, slow and a little bit wider to start. Core nice and tight, a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. Nice, freeze and reverse to the opposite direction. Oh, keep it wide, soften those elbows and then a little bit bigger, a little bit faster. Perfect. Pull your elbows into your chest. Pivot from left to right. Making sure that back leg, that back heel, I should say, is coming up off the ground. Just twist through your hips. Elbows come up. A little bit deeper into the rotation. Elbows go long. Arms go long. Keep that core nice and tight. Four more. Three more, two more, one more. Roll the wrists, both directions. Roll the ankles, both directions. Both ankles. Put your feet together, find your knee rotations. And reverse the opposite direction. We got four point squat. Open up to a deep squat stance. Hands go up, forward fold, touch the ground, find that stretch. Tailbone comes down, open your knees up, push them open, head comes up, hands come up, drive straight up. Four more times. Go forward fold, butt down, elbows in, head up, hands up, drive up. Good. Find the stretch in every position. Stretch through your hamstrings. Oh, abductor, abductors. Head up, hands up. Stretch through your shoulders. Drive up. Oh, it's hard to get out of that little squat. Forward fold. Open. Drive. One more time. And up and open. Nice. All right, you guys. So we're going to start. 30 on, repeat as 
many times as we can get through. Not really, but it's a nice thought. Okay, right leg's gonna start. Here we go. Little, big, little step up. Little, big, little step up. Three, two, one, and go. Little, hop forward, hop back, all the way up. Little, little, good. If you need that chair, use the chair. Good, let that back knee kiss the ground, right? It's one, two, three, now I've got five seconds. Four, three, two, switch legs, ready, set, go. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. One, two, three, and up. Keep going. Good. Stack your spine. Get nice and low. Focus on your range of motion. Push. Ten seconds. Good. Get ready to go down to the ground in two and one. Flip over. Ready, set. And go. So drive, pull back, touch. Drive. Pull that touch. Kick that foot straight to the uh, wall. Try to get your hips up. Open up through your chest. Drive. Drive. Ten seconds. Eight. Six. Four. Two. And get back up. Round two. Ready, set, let goes. And Right leg, little, big, little, back up. Little, big, little, back up. Perfect. My screen is really small and I can't see that far. <laughs> Good, use your chair. Perfect. Yep, find your depth in there. Just slow and controlled. Five seconds, three, two, and one, switch legs, go. Right away. Good, back knee kisses every single time. 15 seconds. Little, big, Little, up three, two, and one. Down to the ground. Ready, set, go. Just kick, tap, kick, tap. Fingers point towards your bum. Hips lift up. Heel drives. Push, push. Ten. Get them up higher. Eight. Two. And break. One more time. Ready, set. And go. Little. Big. Little. Back up. Keep that chest stacked. Head to tailbone. Five seconds, two, and switch. Ready, set, go. Other side, last time through. Push. Fifteen to go. Eight, seven, six, three, two, and break. Woo! Get out of the floor. Let's go. Last time, three, two, and go. Drive, pull.
Ten seconds. Drive it through. Quick. Push. Push. Everything's tight. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Round one is done. Wipe your set. Grab a drink. Round two. So, side lateral sumo to a slight side plank push up. All right. So, side sumos all the way down, up, down, up, down. All right. That's your first one. The second one, I gotta be able to tilt you just a little bit so you can see me. All right. We go side plank here, hip dip. This hand goes to the ground. I pivot into a push up, back up. This elbow stays on the ground. Hip up, hand push up, back up. Got it? All right. Side sumos first. Side sumos first. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Go. Tap down, jump. Tap down, jump. Good. So try to get air. Get as high as possible. Yes. Get up and go quicker. Get your butts down. Don't let your chest pop down. Get down here. Chest stays up. There you go. Good, Tanya. Perfect. Eight seconds. Seven, six, four, two, and break. Come on down. It doesn't matter what side. We got to do both. Ready, set, and hip dip. Put the hand down. Push up. Pop back up. Hip dip. Put the hand down. Push up. Pop back up. Hip. Hand. Push up. Pop. Hip. Hand. Push up. Pop. Keep going. Ten seconds. Switch sides. Ready, set. And go. Hip, hand, push up. Hip, hand, push up. Perfect. Hip, hand, push up. Guys, you got 15 seconds. Five. Four, three, two, and break. Get up. Side sumos. Ready, set, and go. Drop down, drop down. Perfect. Chest stays nice and high. Do your variation. Maybe it's not in the wheelhouse to touch the ground. Totally fine. Use your knee to support, okay? I can put one hand on my knee, and push up. Get your heart elevated. Five seconds. Four, two, and break. Down to the ground. Push up, drink set. And go, hip dip, hand, push up. Hip dip, hand, push up. Five seconds, three, two, switch sides, ready, set, and go, hip dip. Good, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, and break. Back at the top, one more time. One more time. Ready? Side two most. Three, two, one, and go. Drop down, drop down. Knees out, toes out. Push, push. You've got 20 seconds. Go just a little bit harder. 
push up. So do me a favor, stay out of the shoulder that's on the ground. Rotate to that other hand and let that hand go down. Push for eight, six, four, two, and one. Switch sides. Ready, set, and go. Hip dip, push up. Hip dip, push up. Hoop. Fifteen seconds to push. Eight, five, three, two, and break. Good job. All right, up you go. Like your little blow. Round three. Side lunge to an elbow knee check. So, again, use your chair if you need to. So, we're going all the way down, knee check. All the way down, knee check. So, having that chair allows you to get further into your range of motion. All the way down, push up, knee check. Use your chair, all right? Then, we've got Plank, so if I'm in plank, I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go knee, knee, leg lift. Knee, knee, leg lift. So right side, lunge, right side, leg. Left side, lunge, left side, plank, leg lifts, okay? Looks like this when you're down on the ground, okay? Knee, knee, lift, knee, knee, lift, okay? It is not about that hyperextension in the back. So don't try to play that leg up as high as you can. Just lift and squeeze, all right? No compression in your lower spine. All right, let's start with the right leg. Go it out. Three, two, and one. Drop down, knee check. Drop down, knee check. Go ahead, get super, super low. Point the toe and the knee in the same direction. Get down low, keep that chest up. Good, good you guys. 10 seconds, push. Seven, six, four, two, all right. That right leg is moving, come on down to the ground. The right leg is moving, ready, set, go. Knee, knee, lift, knee, knee, lift, knee, knee, lift. As tight as you can, pull it in. Oop. Five seconds. Three, two, and break. Switch to the other side. Ready, set, and go. Drop, knee check, drop. Knee check, take your time and get down there. Perfect. Halfway. All right, down to the other side. Ready, set. And go. In, in, up. In, in, up. Get them up high. Squeeze your butt. Knee, knee, leg lift. Knee, knee, leg lift. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, and one. Break, you guys. Up top. All right. Right side moves again. Ready, set. Yes. And go. Drop down. Knee check. Drop down. Pull it up. So really go from that side, from that knee, knee check, not up here. Point the knee up to the side. 
Squeeze in through your obliques. Good. Nice and low. Pull. Pull. Eight, seven. Four, three, two, and one. Same leg moves. Ready, set. Get down and go. Knee, knee, leg. Knee, knee, leg. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and up. Other side. Ready, set, and go. All the way down. Knee check up. Perfect. Make sure that knee points out to the side, not to the front wall. Point it out to the side as you lift. Perfect, Jill. Good. Yes, Nikki. Look at the height on that. Good, you guys. Perfect. You got five seconds. Three, two, same leg moves. Drop down. Let's finish it. Last one. Ready, set, and go. I should have one set of moves left. One set. We're gonna do them quick. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and break. Nice job. All right. Wipe and drink. Round three. We got high low kick into a half tricep push up, mermaid style. Okay? High low kick. Right leg moves, high, left leg moves, back down, okay? Up, kick, tap, up, kick, tap. 30 on the right, 30 on the left. Then you got half mermaid push-ups. So, I'm gonna just lay down. My knees are gonna try to point to the back wall. I might have to bring mine in, just depending on my flexibility. Now I'm gonna twist my torso all the way around so my hands are squared up by my hips. And then I'm gonna drop down into a tricep push-up. If you wanna pick your hip up, you can do your push-up there, all right? Either way. So if I do it dead square on, knees are pointing back, I pivot through my chest, I drive down, push-up, all right? Those are your two moves. High low kick right side, 30, 30 left, sorry, 30 right, 30 left, mermaid left, right. Ready? Doesn't matter what leg you start. And go. Kick and then tap down. Kick and then tap down. So this is your last little one. You got three sets of this as quick as we can. Good. Try to get as low as you can. Yep, add a hop. Perfect. Find your range right now. Good, Kendra. Perfect. Yes, Karen, I see you. I see your little head up there. Good job. Go, you guys, go. Push hard. Four seconds. Three, two, and one. Drop down to your right side. So my right hip is down. Ready, set, and go. Push-ups. So elbows stay locked in for the tricep push-ups. Elbows stay locked in. You're going to have a dominant leading arm right now. Whatever butt cheek is down, that side, my right butt cheek is down, my right arm is the dominant lead in this push-up right now. Drive through it. Good. Push. It's weight-bearing probably 60 to 70% of my body weight right now. And break. Stay down. Flip over. Let's do the other arm because we're already down. Ready, set, and go. Again, find your rotation. Find what feels good in your back, in your spine. Push. Ten seconds. Eight. Six. Four. 
two, and break. Get up. We've got the back side leg, left side leg. Ready, set, and go. Kick, step ball change. Kick, step ball change. Kick, step ball change. Go. Intensify by speed or by adding a jump or a higher kick. If you don't need to intensify, stay where you are. Super core, tight your core. Everything's balanced out. Good, ladies. Push into it. Come on. Three, two, and one. Switch feet. Ready, set. Going right into it. Three, two, and one. Go. Other leg. Push. Transition. 
push, push, push. cameras on this one right there <laughs> Hey guys, Oops, sorry, wrong one to, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> wrong one. I'm trying to unmute you. Ooh. Okay, I think we're good now. Does that sound good, you guys? No, it doesn't, okay. This is, Okay. Jill, we can't see you. Okay. All right. H how about now? Can you guys? Yep. Perfect. Hear me? Okay. Sorry about that. <clears throat> All right, you guys, just come down onto your seats. Um, we're going to be moving front to back today. So if you feel like you want to have your mat is arranged sort of the way mine is, you can, but it's all right. I, you'll hear me, so it's not a big deal if you end up at the back of your mat. I'll talk you through it. So take off your shoes if you need to have sort of a long sleeve shirt nearby, just in case you get a little cold as we start to cool down. Thank you, Joey. That was awesome. In my head, I'm going glutes, hip flexors, um, shoulder, everything. <laughs> so anyway, all right. Uh, just get tall, extend your legs long. Take a few deep breaths. And then take your right arm across your shoulder and just pull it in. Look over your right shoulder. Just get a little stretch. And let your heart rate come down. Couple breaths. Good, and then just come onto the other side. So extend your left arm across your chest, pull it in, and look over your left shoulder. Couple breaths. Nice tall spine. Flex your toes to your nose. Good, release your left arm and take your right knee uh, bend it and pull your ankle towards your high knee. So this is stretching your right quad. And if that is really hard to do, you can just roll onto the side of your left hip. From here, it's either extend forward and get that hamstring stretch in your left leg, or you can just keep working on the quad and come back. You can do both. We'll take several breaths. Just breathe. Folding forward will also release your low back. Wherever you are, take two more breaths. Extend your right leg back out and then take it in so the sole of your foot is on the inside of your left thigh. Janu Shirashasana. Reach up, take a deep breath in, and do fold forward on this one over your extended leg. Flex your toes. Round your back, that feels good. Bend your left knee if that's better. And breathe, so hopefully in and out through your nose at this point. Take one more breath. And exhale it out and then gently 
unroll your spine, take your right hand to your outer hip, right where the right knee is bent, and lift up. So you're pressing your right hand into the mat. Now reach back. Oh, this will be really nice on your hip flexors. Just lifting your hips, point your toes down, see if you can get them into the ground, your left toes. Take one more breath in and exhale it out. Good. All right. Keep this shape in your body and just take the extended leg up now. Kind of a variation of what's called Heron's, Heron's pose. So your left leg is lifted and you can stay right there. This is great. This is nice in the hamstrings. Or take your right hand to the outer edge of your lifted foot, grab a hold to the pinky side, the toe, pinky toe side, and open up to a twist. Keep reaching behind you, but grow tall through the crown of your head. Take a deep breath in, twist it out. Let's see if we can do that one more time. Inhale and exhale, twist. Good. Come back forward, give that leg a little love, and then set it down. Let's do that on the other side. So take your left knee, bend it, bring your ankle to your high knee for the quad stretch. Again, coming forward or going back or doing both each side and just breathe when you fold forward just flex your toes to really get into your hamstrings or outer hip a couple more breaths Good. One more breath and gently press up. Take the left leg and now pull the sole of the foot into the inner thigh of the right leg. Knee bends out to the side for John and Shashasana. Ground down in your sitting bones. Reach up and extend over your extended leg. I really feel this in my low back. I'm going to just wiggle around a little bit. Couple more breaths. One more round of breath. And gently walk your hands up. Take your left hand to your out, outer left hip and press up for this wild thing variation. Press your right toes into the mat. Reach over your head. Stretch up your abs, your hip flexors. Take one more deep breath in and come on down. Keep the shape in your legs. Grab a hold of your extended leg, Heron's variation, and lift it up. You can bend this, that's okay. And take your left hand to the outer edge of the, your foot, the pinky toe side, and now reach back. And that's just an option to give yourself a spinal twist. So you make sure you're not leaning back, lean forward, take a deep breath in, open your heart, twist a little bit more. And let's do that one more time. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Come back forward, cross your ankles and come into down dog. And just stretch everything out. Take a deep breath in and take a deep breath out. Lift your right leg up, bend your knee, open your hip, and then straighten your leg, take a deep breath in, low lunge, drop your left knee, kneeling crescent or Anjay Asana. So from here, you can stay right here or bring your palms together overhead and drop them behind you for a little backward bend, a little tricep stretch. Getting into those triceps and just let your body sag down so you let your hip flexors release. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out and then come all the way up and half splits. Extend your right leg. You can slide your right heel forward a little bit more and then come down. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Stay here with the right leg extended, but walk to the side of the right leg. 
way over to the side and get a stretch on your left hip, left outer hip, low back. And then you'll come all the way and do that on the other side, walking all the way around so that you pivot to gate pose. Stand on your left knee and side bend over so your left side gets a stretch. Press your right foot into the ground, nice straight leg, and reach. Take a deep breath in and out. And then set your left hand down, side plank variation, lift your right leg up. Now bring your foot to your booty for a quad stretch. Roll your heart open to the ceiling. Maybe send your knee back a little bit. Take a deep breath in and release that foot back into your side plank variation. And this is where it gets a little tricky. Take your hands down and now pivot to the back of your mat and slide your left leg into pigeon, half pigeon. You might lift up. This will be a beautiful stretch on your lower abdominals and then come down for pigeon on the left side, back of your mat, maybe facing the back of your mat. Come as low as you need to come. I'm surprised to hear any movement in my house. I thought everyone was gonna be asleep till noon. Take a few more breaths. One more deep inhale and exhale. Press yourself up back onto your palms. Curl your right toes and come into a three-legged dog. If you would like, flip that guy. Reach up and over. Nice little backward bend. Extend everything out in your front line and then inhale up and over. We'll meet back in down dog. Take a couple of breaths. So now you're at the back of your mat. Bring your toes together, lift your left leg up and give it a big hip opener. Take an inhale, exhale, straighten the leg, low lunge, kneeling crescent. This time, reach behind you and interlace your hands if that's available to you or you can take the one we did earlier and open your chest. Take a little backward bend. Just a few more breaths. And slowly release, half splits. Keep wiggling your left heel forward, round down over your left leg. And then take your hands and just a little jog to the left side of your left leg, feeling a stretch along your low back. Wherever you're feeling it, I'm kind of feeling it everywhere. And then walk your hands all the way around to the front side, coming into gate pose, stand on your right knee, and then just extend over your left leg. Open up your heart, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. And then side plank variation, lift your left leg up, flex your toes, and now bring your heel into your booty, roll your heart open, quad stretch. Deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Extend your leg back open, or long, and now pivot on your knee. Now you're back to the front of your mat and take your right knee into half pigeon. Take your time getting there, open up your heart. Maybe look up. And then option to come down on your elbows, whatever feels good, at least five breaths.
take two more breaths. And then gently press onto your palms, curl your back toes, and this time come into high plank. Take a deep breath in, drop to your knees and come all the way onto your bellies. Take your arms out to a T and roll onto your right shoulder. You can let your left knee bend, almost like you're going to take bridge if you would like. You can actually bend both knees, one stays on the ground. And you can take your left arm to your low back and just gently open up your shoulder. Be very careful on your right shoulder. Take it slowly. Two more breaths. Slowly come back onto your bellies. And then roll onto your left shoulder. Let your head hang, let it drop. If you need to put a towel or roll up your mat, your sides are different. So you might be doing something a little differently on this side. Good. Take one more round of breath and slowly come back onto your bellies. Take cobra pose. Walk your hands back towards your low ribs. Lift up. Take a deep breath in. Stay up as you breathe out. Point your toes. Keep your feet down. Take one more deep breath in. And as you exhale, gently come in to a child's pose. Take your knees nice and wide, extend your arms along. Walk your arms over to the right. Let your left hip get a good stretch. Sink your hips down. And then back through center to the other side. Stretch your right side body. Keep melting your hips down. Relax into this. Notice if you're gripping. Come back through center. Press your hips down. Extend your arms. Stay in your child's pose. One more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Good. Slowly come up to tabletop and then down dog. Walk your hands and toes together to touch to a forward fold, standing forward fold. And unroll your spine all the way up to stand. Just stay here a moment. Hands by your sides. You can close your eyes. Take a few breaths. And then reach your arms up. Inhale, Tadasana, back bend. Reach your arms up and forward fold. Halfway lift. And this time just come into a squat and send your legs in front of you. Let's take one more forward fold, but let's take a wide seated fold. So extend your legs into a V and gently walk forward. We definitely got into our, our groin today, <laughs> or I did. 
If it's available to, to come onto your elbows. It's okay if your knees are bending. It's okay if your back is rounding. Take one more deep breath in and a deep breath out. Gently walk yourself back up and then take your feet to the top of your mat. Roll all the way onto your backs. Hug your knees into your chest. Release your left leg long. Take your right knee to your shoulder for this nice little squeeze. Roll out your ankle one way, roll it out the other way. And supine twist. Draw your knee over your body. I like to actually bend both my knees. It's up to you, whatever feels good. Look over your right shoulder, give a little twist in your neck. Gently come back onto your backs again. Hug your knees into your chest. Release your right leg long. Pull your left knee into your shoulder and roll out your ankle. Go both ways. Pin it in nice and tight. Get that abdominal compression. And then supine twist. Draw your leg across your body. Open up your arms. Really feel all the release in your low back. And come back onto your backs. Give yourself a squeeze. Pull your knees into your chest. Any other thing you'd like, if you want to take Happy Baby or Soup Tabata, sometimes it's nice for, your, um, for a few breaths to get another little hip opener. But otherwise, if you're ready, go ahead and just Shavasana. Extend your legs long. You can come to Pentacle Pose and breathe. Just let it go. And at least a minute here, just for you. Slowly bend your knees back into your chest, roll to one side, and press yourself up to a seat. Thank you, ladies, for joining us today. Have a beautiful day. Namaste.